Hello, I'm Seth and behind the camera as usual is Tobias. We are from Nelson Tiny Houses and today we're super excited to share with you our latest house. It is 24 feet long by about just under 10 feet wide. It's kind of our standard V house design which pretty much just means it's got a single pitch shed roof. Um, we've built six or seven this exact same dimension and they've all had a lot of stuff in them and so with this house we, we had the liberty to to kind of come up with whatever design we wanted to so we tried to make it as open uh, concept as possible the the only wall in the whole house is pushed all the way against that far wall there is a bathroom um, yeah, other than that, it's, it's really as open as possible. And for board and batten, we, we tried something that was kind of new to us. Of course, people have been doing this technique for a really long time. Um, we used one by fours and one by eight, and we torched them with a tiger torch. And we didn't really, we weren't super aggressive with it. We didn't want the extra step of having to scrape off all the charcoal bits. So we, we did kind of a light burn and then we added a stain to it. Um, both of those things I think will help seal it. And really the beauty of this is that you're kind of making it weathered looking right from the beginning. So I don't think it's going to change much over time. Uh, where this is going is just down the street. We'll just crane it onto a trailer here and then we'll all go to the site. And on that site we're actually going to use a couple cargo shipping containers. Um, we're going to put two together, kind of sh shaping an L, and then we're going to build a big deck on top of it and crane this house uh, on top of the whole thing. So the containers are kind of acting as a foundation, and of course there'll be extra storage as well. I think it's going to work really well. Um, yeah, it's just going to get hooked up to normal sure power and to a septic system and a pressurized water so there's not a lot of cool off-grid stuff going on in this house, but there is a lot of cool kind of transformative bits to show you. So without any further ado, let's do that. Plus it's really hot out here. <laughs> so when you walk into this house, there is a little coat closet um, on your left. And then if you come over this way, you're walking into the dining room slash yoga space slash guest bedroom area. Um, right now, I guess it's in its uh, yoga form. But if you lower this, then it turns into the dining room. And then I think you could probably fit four people snugly around this table. And then one thing you usually don't do at the same time is eat and sleep. So behind this table, we put just a single mattress Murphy bed. Um, this light just goes out of the way. And before you do that, it actually can't come down because it pinches on this. And this is just what you need in order to um, it kind of acts as a big leg, is what it does. And then this just comes down. There's no mattress or bedding in it at the moment. I'll leave that up to the client to purchase. But that's it. Pretty simple. Um, for this Murphy bed, we just use big giant um, swivel. They're basically like lazy Susan swivels. And there's one on either side. And then when you close it, um, this is just a very simple gate. I'm sure you recognize that as just a, a gate latch. Very easy and cheap. And 
Then this thing slides back under here. It's out of the way. And you could put the light back. Easy enough. And then you, uh, well, before we go into the kitchen, this isn't very exciting, but it's just the electric panel. Like I said, it's going to get plugged into Sure Power. Now we're in the kitchen. And my favorite part about this kitchen is the range hood. Um, I tried and tried to get a nice stainless steel 24 inch range hood and I, I was having trouble in our small town in Canada um, getting one that I liked. So I bought this really cheap white one that luckily you can't see anymore. Um, it's, uh, yeah, I think it costs 50 or 60 bucks. But we just enclosed it with some nice fur and then the really sweet part, this kind of steampunk action. Um, took a while to make this little thing. It's basically just little extenders that press the buttons. But uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. And this stove is actually, the house is going to end up getting a propane stove. Um, but we had this to put in just to show you what it's going to look like, more or less. We used some old hinges for the hardware. Sometimes we use IKEA stuff for kitchens. We decided just to make it all ourselves this time. It's a pretty small kitchen. It's pretty easy to do. If I turn around, there is extra cutting station over here since there's really not like a lot of counter space. Um, if you need it, there's extra space here. <laughs> Refrigerator, uh, extra space up there. This house, uh, it obviously doesn't have a lot of walls in it, um, except for the one behind me, but we did try to give it a sense of separate space and we did that partly by doing these big floor to ceiling bookend shelves. Um, so once you kind of go past this side, you're in the living room slash bedroom zone. Um, and there is, there is a curtain that you can pull across just to give a little bit of a sense of separation. Although you might only do that if someone's sleeping um, in the Murphy bed. So this has got this kind of cool wardrobe that pulls out. Um, the problem with long skinny closets is it's really hard to, to make them useful. But if you can pull everything out and look at it this way, um, it changes that. And then it's just got a normal hot water tank hiding back there. Uh, they're very economical and they, they last for a long time. And like I said, this, this house is just going to be permanently set up. Um, and there was quite a bit of extra space back there. And right now this bed is kind of acting like a couch. Um, or it could be a single, single mattress, I guess. There are some big drawers underneath. And then when it's time to go to bed, especially if there's two of you, you can just pull this out and then it turns into queen mattress. Um, yeah, pretty simple. Um, we decided not to do a loft in this house just to mix things up a bit. Um, again, it's hard to make a really open space without, um, if you do put a loft in it. So we went with this. And then there is some extra storage uh, on the way to the bathroom. These shelves, there's a lot of wasted space back there. So we decided to make this really long drawer. Uh, it's, it's not something you would access on a daily basis, but... Um, be good for storing winter clothes on a day like today. 
So when you walk up these couple stairs, you go into the bathroom. Before we go in there, I just want to quickly show you this little lamp that I'm proud of. Um, I bought it because it was on sale, but it came with a really tacky cover and I just couldn't put that up. So I went over to our junk pile and there just happened to be this tin can that fit perfectly on there. Um, yeah, it took like five minutes to swap it out. And it's a really good example of how sometimes using reclaimed material can be very quick and easy. Um, it's always something you should keep in the back of your mind because um, it really does help give a, a unique look to your house. So when you walk into the bathroom, um, you'll see it's, it's pretty spacious in here. We managed to squeeze a full size tub. It's got a shower as well. Whenever we can, we put a full tub in the tiny houses if there seems to be room. Uh, like I said before, this house is going to a place where there's septic, so it just has a normal flush toilet. The only other cool thing in here is we decided to expose the exhaust for this fan and uh, give it a bit of a industrial feel. If you want to stay with us for a few more minutes, uh, I've got a really exciting project that I'd love to share with you. Um, and it's just outside. So this summer, we've got um, a couple cool projects ahead of us and they both involve this trailer. It is a 38 foot long custom trailer made for tiny houses, uh, came all the way from Denver, Colorado. And yeah, it represents a couple different things. Of course, we are going to build a tiny house on it. It's gonna resemble the winter wonderland house that we built two or three years ago, except for it's gonna have a bit of a modern twist to it, uh, a little less rustic. And the other really exciting thing is that we are going to make a series of videos teaching people how to build their own tiny house. And we're going to use this house to kind of help um, follow us through the stages. But we're not just going to show you the stages from this house. We are going to show you um, a bunch of examples from different projects so that in the end you have a really comprehensive idea of how to build um, not just this specific tiny house but whatever tiny house you can dream up so yeah we're super excited to be doing this project right now we're running a kickstarter campaign uh, to help raise some funds for the project you can get to that through our website nelson tiny houses um, yeah we love building houses we're going to keep building them We'll keep making videos and sharing them because it's just an awesome thing to be part of. So yeah, keep your eye out for more tiny house videos in the near future. Thanks.